thank you for watching my video. What if you had one tool in your toolbox that would change your life and release emotional feelings surrounding events or difficult situations while we're in a difficult situation right now with COVID? Have you been watching the news? Well, stop watching the news. Well, seriously. With the United States, thing, what's going on in the United States and Canada, COVID, with the epidemic, with so many different things. If you've been dealing with some emotions in your life, and for example, the news is causing that, wouldn't you like a tool that would say, you know what? I can deal with life. I can deal with stress. I can deal with anger, disappointment, or whatever would be in your life that would cause something. Or somebody's bothering you. Would you use this tool on a daily basis? And wouldn't it be beneficial to have a tool in your toolbox that you can really deal with emotions? Well, this is it. And we've been using it on a daily basis. We may not be even knowing that we're using it. It's called the ABC tool. Activating event, our beliefs surrounding our consequences, disputing the irrational belief, and effectively changing to a new helpful belief. Because if you really find, yes, find your what is causing your emotional upsets from your past, you can face it head on. Because a lot of our emotional upsets are coming from our past, childhood traumas, many different things that are in our subconscious mind and they're imprinted. What if you can, I would say, start to work on your subconscious mind on some of those things that trigger us. Have you ever noticed that if you, if you see something and then you get an em emotional response from it and then you feel a certain way, angry, sad, disappointed, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden this belief comes on, they shouldn't do, they shouldn't do that or I'm not good enough or whatever that belief may be, irrational belief. It's coming from our past. So the best tool is disputing it, disputing the irrational belief, asking ourselves, is it true what we're believing about ourselves, about others, about the world? Then we move into the effectively changing to a new belief. So you find new ways of looking at that situation, your emotional feelings. And really changing the way you're thinking about the events and about your emotional feelings from the past. For example, I'm going to give you a great example of an ABC that I did in the last 48 hours. Somebody in my group were talking about, about kids playing video games. How they should control how much video game play they should be doing. After the meeting, I, I was like, isn't that form of controlling kids to, they're playing video games because they want to have fun? Why can't just let kids just have fun? Enjoy their childhood when they can. So I got frustrated within myself. Actually, I got a little bit angry about individual parents controlling their kids. So I had to dive into where that belief came from. And that came from my childhood. I believed that my parents were controlling me. So still to this day, that has affected me about control. So I disputed it. Then I started to going, okay, what kind of effective new change can I make? New belief system. My parents just didn't have the right tools. They weren't doing anything wrong. And what that other parent is doing is what they're doing. I can live in my bubble. No one can make me sad, angry, disappointed. I'm the only one that can make me upset. 
For me to live in my own bubble is more beneficial for me, for my happiness, for my joy. So I started to digest and then I went even deeper and farther to find out where that was coming from and started to dig and start the process of releasing that and cutting it away from my subconscious mind. Does it happen overnight that you can cut it right away? It takes time and practice and persistence of working on those belief systems. So the ABC tool is one of the most powerful tools to help us deal with emotional feelings and creating new beliefs, rational beliefs that can help us live in the present moment instead of living in the past and dwelling in the past. Create health, wealth, and abundance in your life with this tool. You can find the ABC tool anywhere online, but if you want to learn more about this tool, I train this tool. Because I truly believe this can change people's lives for the better. Nothing will change until we change. We change our thoughts, change our feelings, changes our outcomes. So everybody live, live in the present moment to create the life that you've always wanted, truly desired in your life. Bye bye for now.